In this example, we will solve equations where x is in the exponent. In part a, solve 4 to the power of 2x minus 6 times 4 to the power of x plus 8 equals 0. Let's make this equation easier to work with by substituting 4 to the power of x with the letter a. Factor the trinomial. Set the first factor, a minus 4, equal to 0. This gives us a equals 4. Now return a to its original expression. This gives us 4 to the power of x equals 4. The result is x equals 1. Now set the second factor, a minus 2, equal to 0. This gives us a equals 2. Now return a to its original expression. This gives us 4 to the power of x equals 2. Write 4 as 2 squared. Multiply the exponents. Now that the bases are equal, we can equate the exponents. The result is x equals 1 half. The solution is x equals 1 half and 1. In part b, solve 2 times 2 to the power of negative 2x minus 9 times 2 to the power of negative x plus 4 equals 0. Negative exponents will be difficult to work with, so let's put the negative portion of the exponent with the base. This gives us 2 times 1 half raised to the power of 2x minus 9 times 1 half raised to the power of x plus 4 equals 0. Let's make this equation easier to work with by substituting 1 half to the power of x with the letter a. This gives us 2a squared minus 9a plus 4 equals 0. Factor the trinomial. Set the first factor, 2a minus 1, equal to 0. This gives us 2a equals 1. Divide both sides by 2 to get a equals 1 half. Now return a to its original expression. This gives us 1 half to the power of x equals 1 half. The result is x equals 1. Now set the second factor, a minus 4, equal to 0. This gives us a equals 4. Now return a to its original expression. This gives us 1 half to the power of x equals 4. Flip the fraction and change the sign of the exponent. Multiply the exponents. Now that the bases are equal, we can equate the exponents. The result is x equals negative 2. The solution is x equals negative 2 and 1.
In part c, solve 2 to the power of x plus 3 plus 2 to the power of x plus 4 equals 96. Split each power into its variable portion and its constant portion. Evaluate the powers. This gives us 8 times 2 to the power of x plus 16 times 2 to the power of x equals 96. Collect like terms on the left side. Divide both sides by 24. This gives us 2 to the power of x equals 4. Get a common base. The solution is x equals 2. In part d, solve 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals 162. We write 3 to the power of x minus 1 as 3 to the power of x over 3. Multiply both sides of the equation by 3. Simplify. Subtract like terms. Divide both sides by 2. This gives us 3 to the power of x equals 243. Get a common base. The solution is x equals 5.